Hey, it's Brixar. Time to look at a vintage Lego set. And we're going to look at a classic. This is a large vehicle set. It's set number 730, which is called Steam Shovel with Carrier. That's how I know. It's from 1973. 102-piece set. And I love these large vehicle uh, sets that they made around that time. So we're going to look at this 40-year-old set. And it's really cool. Now, as the case is with most of these large vehicle sets, they have a similar design. You have this plate on the top has a hole in it. The uh, oops, as I knocked my steam shovel over, the bottom has a hole on it, and the wheel piece has a long axle that comes through, and it connects on the top like that, so that it has a steering feature where you can steer it with this Lego brick. Now, they did make different kinds of Lego bricks. The picture shows this one with the black outline. There's actually a couple of different um, styles of that. And then there's also some that don't have the black outline. But uh, this is what I had on this set. And most of these had opening doors like that. The, a lot of the trucks had this similar design. You have an opening door on both sides. And it have a headlight piece, which is this grill on a 1x6. And a lot of them had the wheels with these spokes on them. So the trailer is basically like that. That's a special piece there. And you can steer it. And there's a pin. You can't see it, but it's right there. A lot of times the pin is broken, as I've mentioned before on these sets. This one's not. And it's supposed to be, you have to push down and turn it. And then I'll connect the trailer back up. And basically the trailer is just one long piece. It's like a 6x24, I think. Something like that. I try to connect the axle, I mean the uh, turntable back up. Alright, turntable. Might be easier to do it this way. This is harder than building a Duplo set. There we go. All right, the tree. I'd like to say the trailer is just a um, it's just this basically. It does have the ramps that you can put down as my steam shovel breaks. There, finally, I fixed it. All right, so this is the steam shovel, it uses a lot of hinge parts, different types of hinge parts here and it swivels, it's on a turntable and it has the crank on this side so you can lower it or raise it like that so that's pretty neat lower it don't lower it too much need to raise it to get it on the truck Basically, you know, this thing does not roll very well. My axles are real tight here. They don't spin very well. I think it's from the age. You're supposed to be able to roll it up there like that and set it on there. But these things, those wheels roll good. My front wheel does not roll good. It's just really tight. So that's the steam shovel with its carrier, a uh, nice little set. Now I noticed one thing that's different, and a lot of times these older sets, the um, picture on the instructions or the box might be a little bit different than the set you actually get. Sometimes the prototypes ended up being different than the actual sets made. And I'll show you this the picture on the box, or the, uh, not the box, the uh, instructions. I don't have the original box anymore, but um, you see the back of the steam shovel the trailer only has two by four ramp whereas here it's two by eight so there's a discrepancy there but you couldn't the two by four would not work as well as a ramp as these two by eights do so that's interesting that the picture is different but the instructions do show the two by eight in there so that's the instructions and you can see here if I can focus focus 
And also with these sets, you usually get a catalog such as this. How do you know it's an ambulance? Because Steve said so. That's Steve. Um, and this basically this is shows some of the sets that were available. And we see our steam shovel. Which sets have on this have I reviewed? I've done that set. The, we've done the steam shovel now. We've done the payloader, but it was a different set number. And we've and I think that's the main ones we've done. Oh, the Swiss Villa. I, I've done that one, but I want to redo it. It was really part of a haul. We did kind of a spontaneous build of it. Probably need to redo that one. So that's some of the basic sets available. And then you got your preschool sets and your Lego building sets. And I got something special planned for set 145. I know a lot of these may not be as interesting to people, the basic sets. Uh, but there's, I have an idea of what we're going to do when we get around to doing set 145. But that'll be much later. So that's the pamphlet, or catalog, it's not really a catalog, it's just a pamphlet showing what sets, some of what sets were available in 1973. So thanks for watching our review of this vintage Lego set. Set 730 steam shovel with carrier, 102 piece set from 1973. A lot of wheels on this set. And it's one of the large vehicle sets. These were really cool sets made in the early 70s. So please comment, like, and subscribe. We will do many more vintage LEGO reviews as well as modern LEGO reviews, even Duplo reviews, and all things LEGO related. Thanks for watching, Brickzar.